In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom registration page and a custom login page for WordPress. It is so silly that people want you to pay for registration forms and contact forms and the default in WordPress has been someone selling a form when you look up how to make a form. And by that I just mean if you look up registration page for WordPress, for example, you're going to get all these amazing videos and tutorials and almost all of them point you to a 30 or 40 dollar plugin like WP Forms or Elementor Pro or you have to buy the Divi theme to do it Weebly, Squarespace, all these other softwares I'm pretty sure have free ways to create a registration form or a contact form or a login form WordPress get with the program so to make our forms we're going to use a plugin called user registration and user profile profile builder We've used this successfully in past videos. It's got amazing reviews and the coolest thing is all you need to do is install it and then you get these short codes for free. You can just pop them in a page or a post and that page or post will turn into a page for editing profile, logging in, logging out, registering, recovering password because the form itself will be set up automatically. You just need to name the page or the post and then you can go ahead and use it and deliver it to your users. Okay, so let's see how it works. We're back on Bluehost website WP. We're gonna to click to the dashboard. We're gonna hover around plugins and click add new. And then just search for profile builder. Super cool name in my opinion. And I've already installed it and activated it. So once you do that, you're gonna get the profile builder section just click to open that and right away you're going to want to click create forms automatically at the top something like that it'll say in a blue button just click on that once you do that you can view form pages and that'll show you that you have the edit profile the login and the register page set up automatically that just means that it made a page and it called it the most um, logical name so register has the register form in it automatically and that's all it did so you can create all the other pages if you want. You just have to add a new page, just like you would normally in WordPress, new page, and then you put in the other short codes. But it gives you the basic ones that we need first, edit profile, login, and register. So let's hover on register and let's view it. And let's see what the plugin made for us. So it's really cool. Username, first name, last name, nickname. All this is live on a page on your site. You just have to put it in a menu then you can serve it up to your users, your clients, whatever you want. If you want to edit or remove these fields, just go back to the dashboard, click on Profile Builder, and we're going to click on Form Fields. So then you can go ahead and edit the fields that are available or just delete them. And if you remove them and you want to get it back, you just go to Field, select an option, and you choose the field, and then you can add it back in with this button. That's pretty simple. They've thought through the forms automatically, so I don't want to edit ours too much. However, there's one setting I want to alert you to. If we click on settings, I just want to make sure that you have the hardest password strength strong because when you have a registration form on the front end of your website, spam users will just sign up and create themselves and you'll see like all these new users that you thought were real people that wanted to join your site and then they're like mostly fake and you can't even tell who's real. So you want to make the password strong and you want to do anything else you can think of to make it so you can actually accept users. We can also click on add-ons and there's lots of other free options like you can charge paid member subscriptions for free, install that and check out the other add-ons. So if we go back to our profile builder, we're going to view the forms, form pages one more time. And what I want to show you is just Something you might want to do, which is how to change the text on the button at the bottom that says register. So it won't say register for you right away. It'll say something like add user. If you want to change that text, just go back to the dashboard, hover on plugins and click editor. Make sure you just click I understand or whatever. Now select the profile builder, select it, and you're just going to want to go to um, front end and click class form builder .php. Okay, so now you're going to want to hit command find once you're in the coded area. And once you hit command find, just do a search for dollar sign button underscore name. 
and hit enter. So that'll take you to the right section and on the first dollar sign button underscore name, you're gonna see a word or a set of words in quotes next to profile builder. It'll be whatever's highlighted right here. And you can just change that wording to whatever you want. So we can change it to like register now. I'm pretty sure it'll say add user for you. So you just replace add user. You can just update it. And then once you refresh your registration page, that text will change inside the button. Great job. All right guys, so we have our custom register page. If we go back to the dashboard and we click profile builder, view form pages, we also have that custom login page. You can go ahead and deliver those to your clients and you can make people really happy because they feel like they're joining your site, doing something cool with it. Of course, we're already logged in. So we're gonna open the, we're gonna open the site in a new tab. Just check out how that login page looks. So super simple, just a replacement for the standard WordPress admin login page, which has this cool formatting. All right, so there you have it guys, enjoy. Just make sure to put those pages in your navigation menu or link them wherever you want to tell people to register or log in from your site. All right, enjoy.